welcome back to the Procrastinary. My name is Jan and today we're continuing our let's play as Austria the Glorious, the Mighty, whatever you wish to call it. Um, we just, uh, in between episodes I played a little bit, just like a few months passed because I was testing recording software and a few other things and I just didn't feel like restarting because it was actually going really well. Um, I refocused some troops and um, took out some Muscovy regiments, so we are now peaced out with Muscovy, they ended the westernization of Perm and re released Holstein, which means we got 5 Imperial Authority, uh, our manpower recovered a bit, and uh, we managed to destroy all French armies now, so we are good. Uh, we're now just waiting basically for uh, France to capitulate. Uh, because France has no manpower left, they're actually quite destabilized as well. So we'll see what happens with them. Uh, Vienna is still being sieged, but... It's not of much importance. Yeah, there's a bunch of rebels as well. I mean, there's a bunch of rebels. There's rebels popping up here and there in France. Uh, we're gonna improve relations with... Uh, the uh, some of the electors we want to, to remain emperor, of course. How good is that ad again? Oh, he's a 162, will live. We've claimed free you leave. Yay, uh, get that dude back as well and improve relations with another of the electors. Bohemia, preferably. Who is our ally, aren't they? I believe so. Who are our allies these days? <laughs> so many allies. But it's all good. Um, but yeah, we're, we're now carpet sieging, or at least trying to carpet siege as much of France as we can. Uh, before they manage to recuperate their troops. Because as we know, France is quite good at recuperating all their troops really quickly and at once. Yeah, Vienna, even if it's sieged, it should be fine. Uh, we're gonna let them negotiate for us as well. Mamelux, Cyprus was here to Venice. Interesting. New tech, constables and temples. We're gonna take it, we need it. Yeah, our legitimacy is so shit. We are currently in no position to start another war, so I'm not gonna take any missions just now. 7,000 Aquitan patriots. Pfft, I'm fine with Aquitan becoming their own thing. No, don't destroy them! No, 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 no! Oh, Vienna was taken. Don't destroy them, Burgundians! We need them! We need as many rebels as in France as possible. Um, also, the reason I went with um, ending the vassalization of Perm with, uh, in the peace treaty with Muscovy is they won't be able to colonize as quickly. Um, it making them less of a superpower in that area. Uh, it's it's just a smart thing to do. Um, I see Hungary is continuing sieges in our territories, which is fine, they're not really capable of much. Does France have vessels? Yes, they do. Mm. They are losing this war, uh, slowly but surely. Yeah, because Vienna is taken, our war score is so low. But it's okay. As long as the Burgundians continue marching around, taking French troops out, we're fine. Because the Burgundians are currently the, the ones with military power. We, we, I mean, we are okay, but we don't have that much power. We have an expiring Casas Belli, uh, Imperial Liberation against the Hansa. Uh, we would have to take that, but the Hansa are allied with... Riga, Lüneburg, Magdeburg, and Oldenburg. And we can't really afford to... Oh, French troops have started popping up again, which is... Bad. Who else do we have Imperial Liberation against? Just the Hansa these days. Mm. I need to figure out how Imperial Authority works. Because we need to get it up. Why do you all of a sudden hate me so much? Because our diplomatic reputation is so low. Yeah, that's because our this is so low. E. Yeah, France has recovered some manpower, so hopefully Burgundians will now be smart about it and go around destroying uh, uh, their stacks. Um, I'm gonna stack up our armies as well, as soon as humanly possible. Um, I don't want to break the sieges though. Not just yet. 
I mean, I didn't want to break the Siege's period, but... If need be, I will. Dauphine was taken, okay. Let's move this guy closer then, into Perigord. Yeah, the Burgundians and it seems that Milan and Bavaria are taking out French troops um, that are forming, so... Yeah, we're gonna reform our army. This over here worries me. They seem to be amassing troops in Perigord. Um, I don't know what their plan is, but I don't like it. So I'm gonna combine our army into Luz and then move in. Steiermark has been taken as well, which is okay. Doesn't matter. Diplomatic insult on Switzerland. Uh, we're actually gonna try to ease the tension. Uh, the reason is improved relations with Empire members, more votes. We've taken Armagnac as well. I think our army is now fully reinforced as well. Oh, they attacked us in there. <laughs> well then. Louis de Balvin was in charge of that army, and I'm guessing Charles is up north, yeah. Make sure they continue breaking their manpower. I don't think this war should last for much longer, but... Um... Yeah, we're gonna detach a few more sieges. The less places the French have to raise troops, the better. The one one of the tactics that everyone recommends when playing against France is siege their vassals. But uh, I mean, yeah, it's a valid thing, but. Relations with Saxony to at least a hundred. Uh, Saxony currently hates us, but they would. We could do that. We could do that. Who is almost finished over here? Palatinate. Palatinate already votes for us, so quite successfully votes for us. They're moving into Berry. Let them, stupid idiots. There we go, and back to improving relations with Saxony. Uh, get them to 100. We'll, we'll go up into an alliance if need be. Uh, we, plus, we'll, we can always have more diplomatic relations. France would peace out on a white peace. No! I now actually want things from you because this war is going really well. It's exactly how the AI lo logic is. Oh, I'm winning. Let me win some more. Let's combine it into part two. So we have the front kind of strong. Ish. Yeah, destroy French regiments everywhere. Destroy the Frenchies! Those damn Frenchies. Annoying Frenchies as well. Uh, we could build things. Should probably build a few more, a few armories. I mean, we do have the money too, so. We have the money and the power points. Build all the armory so that we can increase our manpower a bit faster. Because <laughs> all this constant warfare is draining it. Um, I really hope that um, Burgundy is smart and releases Guienne or something out of this. If they don't, I'm gonna be pissed. Because <laughs> I'm not prepared to go into another war with the French. I simply don't feel like wasting my manpower that much again. The French, I mean, they're a, they're a fun enemy for a while, but the point is that constant warfare with them drains our manpower immensely. And it's something that we can't just afford to continue doing on and on and on. As much fun as it is destroying the French. Um, we have other ambitions we need to gain more control of. Germany. Which involves Baden. Who loves us. 
because of these tensions. And now we just need the war to end so that you can vassalize them. We've taken Toulouse. We gained Imperial Liberation against um, Pomerania. The war people. I thought I'd already sent more troops into very good. Why have they taken? Oh, they've taken Mecklenburg. Who are they allied with? Friesland. Hmm. That might be an easy war to um, kind of grow our power. To grow our um, HRE power. What's it called? Something. <laughs> Imperial influence? Imperial authority. That's what it is. Taken for two and Languedoc. We're doing rather well. I'm quite happy that we're sieging everything instead of the um, instead of the Burgundians. I don't know how much they would actually need for um, to stop things. Uh, Hungarians are moving around a bit. I don't care. I wouldn't mind taking Provence out of that thing. It is in the Empire. Oh, it's not part of the HP. Damn it. Uh, what is? Oh, Barois. That's what it is. I think that's the only thing that's in the HRE that France controls. Yeah. Well, besides anything that Burgundy has. <laughs> I want Reich's reform would be really good for all of us. 34 princes are still against it. We've won the Siege of Perigord as well now. I'm gonna move into Orléans. I took French for five years in school. Um, so I'm sort of good at, with with French. I did, did take... Um, I took German as well for four, five years in middle school. Um... Up till grade nine, so nine, eight, seven, five. Yeah, for four years I took it for I took German for four years. Uh, I skipped year six because we were just changing from an eight-year system to a nine-year system. So my generation skipped a year. A year. All the sieges of all the Frenchies. The Great Austrian Conquest of France has a nice tone ring to it, doesn't it? I quite enjoy it. We should probably actually expand this way. I mean, it wouldn't hurt us. Combine! Combine! Philippe de Bourgogne is King of Burgundy. A Habsburg would succeed to the throne should he die. I would not mind that. Yeah, that's the one thing this game needs, is a... Um... Do we have improved relations? We already do. We don't. Uh, this game needs a dynasty map mode. So I can see exactly which countries have my dynasty so that I can attack those countries specifically. No, Frenchies, I will not white piece you. I control all the, about half of your territory. I am not willing to just white piece a nation. I'm not a kind and benevolent ruler, you will find. They're trying to attack our people in Orléans. Are they being idiots? Oh, Frenchies, what are you doing? Ignore the demand, accept their demands. You know what? We're gonna agree to their demands. I don't mind having a bit more papal influence. Is always good. Combine, detach, into core. Stop the Frenchies from spreading.
And now they're just gonna stand in Normandy. Well, what was Burgundy doing? Oh, they actually went and attacked the Hungarians. That's slightly comical. Uh, our armies aren't really capable. Ah, <sighs> stupid. Where, why did the Burgundians have to leave us? To deal with the Frenchies on and on. on. Oh, I selected that army as well. Whoopsie. There we go. Burgundy, Burgundy, Burgundy. Leaving us all on our own. Oh well, I mean we're not that bad off. Ah, Burgundy comes back. The French are still trying to white piece us. <laughs> no! Why would I white piece you if I control half your population? Get the guy back from Bohemia. Let's see. Yeah, actually, I would white piece. I would piece you out now. We have minus 3% war score. Okay. <laughs> That's why they want to white piece us. But the overall war score is really good. Somehow managed to take the siege of Berry. No, 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 not you. A new cardinal for us? Good. We're no longer papal controller, by the way. It's something we don't get a notification for, which is funny, but oh well. Gascon is being really slow to siege. Is it? It's level 2 fort. It's not being blocked or anything, which I think is why it's being so weird. We should also probably go in and siege our territory. Hey, hey, you, you, I need you to die now. Hey, hey, you, you, I don't like your dynasty. They're at 69% and they're not piecing out. I really want them to piece out. Taking the siege of Anjou in the meantime. This truly has turned into the Austrian conquest of France. It's just... Nobody else is conquering them. Just us. It's costing us huge amounts of manpower. But we're doing it anyways. No. We should go deal with the Hungarians. As soon as these two sieges are done, I'll, well, I'll go deal with the Hungarians. It's important. Uh, we improve relations with someone else, so let's go improve relations with someone else. Like you. Ancon has been done. Yeah, Normandy is never going to be done. The Burgundians can take care of the rest. I don't... I, nope. Not gonna bother. We've sieged more than half the French territory. We tried. We fought their armies. Destroyed their armies. Now it's time for us to go home. There. Austria is going home. We have, apparently, Hungarians to deal with, so we're gonna go do that. You can siege the rest. We gained the stability and five imperial authority because we improved relations with the with an elector. Claim our, our rival's province Brescia? Well, of course we will claim our rival's province Brescia. No, France, piss off. If you're willing to release Guienne, then yes, I'm willing to talk. Otherwise, piss off. The when is declared war on Hungary? Conquest of Lika, I am guessing. What else? Savoy joined Hungary. 
France and the alliance with Hungary. Bizarrely. Ostmarsh has been sieged, which is annoying. Uh, they're probably going into Graz. Graz. I've actually been to Graz. Graz is quite a nice place. Yes! Go into Lika, where we can help the Venetians win. I'd rather have the Venetians as a neighbor than Hungarians. We can also have a new uh, Diplo idea, uh, but we're gonna go for the next level of Diplo attack. Yep. Access from Savoy, but of course Savoy! And Genoa, sure. Destroy the Hungarians! And their pilled wife raping hordes. Do the Hungarians do that? I'm not really sure. My nation was under Hungary. Actually, no, my nation was never under Hungary. Croatia was under Hungary for a long, long time, in a personal union, actually. Um, which is uh, bizarre, but yeah. Would you justify anything? Bad reputation expired for Austria. Which makes people like us more. I don't understand how Bohemia is voting for themselves, but they are. Why are you insulting me? Destroy the Hungarians. Ferdinand von Schwarz. I think he's von Sch Schwarzenberg, which means from the Black Castle. Quite an epic name. Kinda want that name. Holy crap, this episode is going long. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, don't forget to share it with your friends. And um, until next time, bye bye.